All right, welcome to your next lab. So this one is going to be on hash tables. You're going to make your very own, and uh, it's going to be templated too. Okay, so get the starter code, uh, and then the first thing that you're going to do uh, to make your hash table work for a lot of types is make your own hash functions. So uh, hash table dot h is where I want to go, and right here you need to make a bunch of hash functions. You need to make functions that turn types into unsigned ints, okay? That just means ints that don't, that can't be negative, okay? So how in the world are you going to take an int and convert it to an int? I'll let you figure that out. And then you need to do the same thing for chars, for strings, and then for doubles, okay? So you need to make a hash function. It needs to be called hash, like this, and you'll just change this type, like change it to char, change it to string, change it to double, okay? So uh, that's all you need to do there, make four different hash functions. I've given you the first one, in essence. And uh, that'll be that. So then you can use your hash table because you can now hash all those values, okay? Uh, and then you need to work on hash table, the class, okay? So in the same file, there's this hash table class and it is templated with both the keys you can have any kind of key and any kind of value. Uh, well, technically, you can have any kind of key that has a hash function defined for it, otherwise it won't compile. Uh, but we've just made four, right? So you're gonna make a hash table. This is the object, and the type of its uh, underlying table is this big, big long vector. So it's a vector of lists of these hash table items. So it's open hashing, and the key value pairs are stored as this type called hash table item. So we will just save the key and the value in one big spot. And uh, yeah, so in essence, for your insert function and for your search function, you'll go into the table at the proper index. You'll go into the vector at the proper index given the hash. Uh, and you'll have to like shrink down the value, of course, using some, like using modulo or something. And then inside of that index, you'll have a list of things because it's possible that you'll have collisions. So inside of every list now, you're going to store uh, a new node for the new thing that you added, potentially. It's also possible that the key already existed in the hash table and you'll have to overwrite what was already there. Okay, those are the two possibilities and I uh, try to talk about this in the in the comments, lots of comments this time. Uh, so that's for the insert uh, method. And then the search mesh method is going to uh, not return the value itself but return a pointer to the value in the hash table so that you could potentially change it, uh, change that value. Okay, so that's insert, that's search, that is your hash table. That's all you have to do. I won't have you implement delete or anything uh, or resize. Uh, just that. So get that working and that is your lab. The one last thing is the constructor. Uh, you're going to have to initialize the table in the constructor. Uh, the user is going to pass along the size of the hash table th that they want to use. Okay, so in your constructor you need to initialize the table to be of size, table size, and you can use vectors constructor to do that. Okay, so uh, just to show you how it's going to be used, uh, I'll go to hash table tests. That's the one. And so here's the idea you'll make a hash table of a certain uh, key type and a certain value type and a certain size. Like this table is going to be five big. That's as many buckets as you get, and you'll, if you insert a lot of things, you're going to uh, have to, like, uh, add a lot of things into a single list. All right, so this is just inserting two things and making sure that you can search uh, for things and uh, actually get the values, like it's not null, because we wanna, you want this to be correct, not, not to fire, okay? And then also that uh, when you search for it and you dereference it, it gets the value that you inserted. Okay, so that's essentially what all the tests are gonna look like. Uh, this one gets fancier where we make a bunch of hash tables with a bunch of different key types, so you're going to have to hash all those different types. Uh, and then it inserts a bunch of things, more than there's room for, because these are all size 42 tables, so there's going to be collisions. Uh, and then just search for the things that we inserted and make sure that they're still there. Okay, so it's the bulk of your work is going to be in search and insert. Okay, so those should be essentially the same as what I did in class. Just get those working, and you've got a working lab. All right, uh, and then you're going to write two of your own tests uh, in addition to the ones that are already there, 
and that's all. So submit that code and there's your rubric and good luck.